What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on my iOS device, my iPhone 10 or iPhone X, for this very anticipated mobile platform drifting game, Torque Drift for iOS and Android. So definitely excited. I got a message from the game developers saying that I was allowed to post content to the channel as long as I let you guys know that it is a beta and the game developers are making changes to the game constantly throughout this beta versus you know feedback from people that are in the beta so definitely excited that i got a chance to be in this beta and play this game it is a lot of fun there's a lot of cool things in this that other uh, drift games don't have so we're gonna get into a little bit of that today definitely excited to be able to bring you guys some torque drift content once again a special thanks and a big thank you to the game developers of torture for basically giving me permission to post some video content for you guys so you guys can see this if you have not been able to play this in the beta or you cannot get the beta in your area so we are here on torque drift on my iphone 10 or iphone x however you pronounce it we are going to get into some of the cool things you can see we have played a little bit we are like level 10 and uh we don't have a lot of money that's because we bought a car with our money so we are going to be going into the garage and checking it out so some of the cool features that i found about this game is when you buy stuff you can pay to have it right away or you can basically wait so wait time is just like you're buying parts from japan or whatever so you basically start off in the game with an s14 with a really big wing you can see down there we did buy a s15 but we have not fitted parts to it yet so we are going to get into all that but basically in the garage you you can scroll through the car the graphics on this are insane for the being a mobile game it's definitely does not look like a mobile game to me it's really awesome graphics and it's really you know really in depth as you can see the roll cages the exhaust interior and everything like that you know all the way down to you know crash bars in the front and everything so there's so much customization on these cars there's part stores and engine upgrades and stuff like that just to you know get quickly into it you know you have parts and wise fab and turbos and stuff like that i almost shifted my phone screen off so you know we can get more into that in a later episode so one of the biggest things in the game that i found is very sweet is actually the sponsorships so in the game there's sponsorships as you can see here there's a sponsorship tree starting off with you know the uh basic sponsors rays omg drift yokohama and uh, you know next and tires and stuff but each sponsor has like basically uh, challenges you have to complete. This one is f times five door dives for 40, mi uh, 40 meters. I've been currently working on this one. Get 35 close calls for 60 meters, which is basically wall rides. We got 32 of 35, so we're probably going to collect that today. But once you have sponsors, you can see on the left side it says where your sponsors are. You can pretty much claim rewards. So this one we're claiming, you know, 20 sets of tires. And then on this one, we are collecting crates. So since we have two crates, we're going to go back into the garage. You can buy crates with money or you can, you know, unlock them with sponsors. So we're going to go into our crate, crate shop. I believe we have times two. So we're going to open these crates up first and see in the crates you can actually get Jonathan Castro, Mad Mike, Al Conadale, Dan Bracat, Dean Carney. You can get money. You can get a bunch of tires, Supras, cars, everything. And there's different percentages of, you know, win totals in there. Normally you get tires because of the win percentage. But we got two crates to open, so we're gonna open one. We're gonna push and hold on open. I totally forgot you gotta hold it and not move. And our first crate for this one is going to be 2,500 bucks. That's good. We will take 2,500 bucks because we can use that to buy more parts for our S15. We got another crate to open up and this one is going to be times 40 of Nexon and 5,000 tires, which you do get to use normal tires and they're unlimited amounts, but they have higher upgraded grip tires, which you have so many sets you can use per run. So like this game is very in depth and it's a lot of fun. So we're going to get into more of it later in later episodes. But as you can see here, I have two cars, but the most awesome thing I can see right here is these pro cars, Mad Mike. And this is where you can truly see the details in the graphics of this game being on mobile. You got Mad Mike with that and his uh, rad, I believe it's the Red Bull, but it's uh, his nasty MX-5, got wings. And then, uh, of course, you got Dean Carney and his Viper, which, once again, just take in these graphics of this game. It is definitely very, very in-depth and very impressive for a mobile platform game. 
got Al Connadale's S14. It's a giant supercharger out the hood of that car. Dan Briquette and his, you know, Toyota Supra. Unfortunately, when I was talking about Dan Briquette and John Castro's car, the game decided to freeze. There is some freezing issues in the game because it is beta. So um, it's just a quick restart of the game. So while we're here, we're going to look at our S15. We do have parts for the S15 ready to be installed, which were bought a while ago. So we are gonna install our aftermarket ECU. Bumped us up to 281 horsepower. And then we're gonna go in there and put our exhaust on, which put us to three, 302, uh, which is not a lot of power, but uh, I feel like we have some extra cash. So we're going to go here and we're gonna order we could either order the engine and put us up, or the turbo and put us up to, you know, 321, or we can go and do motor swaps to JZs, you know, tuned SR20, you know, stroked SR20s. These are not, you know, reachable yet, but as you can see, there are so many engine upgrades and rebuilt to JZ, rebuilt Alice One. So, there's there's so much into this and i can go on and on about customization and stuff like that but so we are going to buy parts for this s15 so you guys can see what i'm talking about we're going to go to body kits i believe because i feel like we should no i don't want to pay for that body kit right now so like i said we there is sponsorships we got to get those wall rides so let's get into a little bit of drifting as you can see the map there's some drift they do um timed events where you only have so much time to run it you got different events there you got cali bank you got the slab you got the yard and this is where you get into tandem battles which i will get into in another episode but for right now we're going to go into practice and try to get that omg sponsor or omg drift sponsorship and also give you guys a feel of what the graphics are like we're going to go to cali banks just to uh send this car give you guys a little glimpse of what is to come on the game we are going to run we're going to run the S14 just because it's running. Eh, now we'll run the S15. So as you can see, when you're before you're ready, you can go into your sets of tires and you can set tires front and rear. You just basically hold on to it and don't move. I keep twitching. There we go. Set the tire to the front, set the tire to the rear. You can change front and rear tires. They don't have to be the same. And we're just going to go in ready. So as you can see, the graphics are insane. So we do have hand controls. This is set up where you can do controller, but I don't have a controller set up yet. So we're just gonna be doing hand controls. So we're gonna send it now. We gotta get some wall rides, but we're gonna try and run the track first. Controls are very uh, simple to use. Kicking in with the handbrake. I'm not anywhere near as high as I wanna be on the bank right now. Kick it that way. Oop. Probably too much. Oh, don't. As you can see, the graphics model in this game is actually very, very impressive. You can drop bumpers, damage the parts of your car and stuff like that, which is really sweet. And we're gonna smack that really hard. So we gotta get those wall rides. So we're gonna try and basically just wall ride on the circle. And the thing is you can do free roam this game by practice. And every time you're doing this, you every for all your drift points, you are gaining money as well. Even when you're by yourself, I feel like I don't have the right angle set up on this car I should probably switch to the SR team but we're gonna try it anyways kick it in see the line on the back is where you're in close call so as you see just a glimpse of this game right now for this episode just you know kind of giving you guys a little bit of a a little rundown on it we're gonna go back to the S14 because that car is not tuned right at all the S14 is a little bit better tuned we're gonna switch to the S14 so if you guys haven't had a chance to pick up this game, this is just a quick run in on it. I will get more in detail about customization and everything in later episodes here on Torque Drift. I just wanted to give you guys a quick, you know, little run in of the game and show you guys a little bit of it. There's a wall ride and there is a long close call. That's going to give us 33 of 35. I probably, am, I'm way offline, but we'll bring it back. I, I want to get a controller set up probably for next episode. So that I can use the controller because the game is controller compatible. I got to make sure it works on beta though. So we got to get a couple more of those wall rides. So I'm just trying to slowly get myself through the track. But it's got to be for 60 meters. So that close call wasn't enough. So we are going to send it on this wall. On the wall. That's going to be enough. That'll be at least 60 meters. So we got to get one more time and we'll get that sponsorship. And I'm curious what we get with the OMG Drift sponsorships. 
Wow, that was really close to the wall. But I don't think that was enough. That was not 60 meters. That was probably like 55. So like I said, the graphics on this are insane. We got a text message on the phone, which kind of screwed us up. So I'm trying to get this last wall ride. So if you guys like what you see and you want to see more Torch Drift, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and comment down below. If you guys are playing Torch Drift, let me know how far you guys are. Because I did, it did say that they are going to be resetting profiles and stuff throughout the beta. So I'm hoping uh, they don't reset mine too much. That's going to be our last one. There it is. 35 complete sponsorship awarded. So we are going to be able to go get that sponsorship now and see we did get $124 for that little endeavor. So we're gonna go to our sponsorship tree. We're gonna sign OMG Drift. And it gives us OMG Drift plus experience. Ooh, and the paint. So now we gotta sign, select sponsor, sign it on there. And this actually gives us the tickets up top there, the Torque Drift box which is how you can get parts ordered to you really quickly. So basically, it looks like we get 35% credits, 15% credits, but we get the 15 every four hours. So the timers go even when you have the phone unlocked or unlocked and game not open. So I give you guys a quick glimpse into, say, a tandem battle situation. We're just going to go back to Cali Banks and uh, see give you guys a quick glimpse we are gonna run our s15 or s14 sorry searching for another opponent hopefully it's somebody not in a extremely powerful car oh looks like he's in a stock car so another beta tester in stock so basically we are gonna run our lead run first we gotta make the best lead run we can and then we will run a follow run and points are awarded at the end lead and chase just like FD so we're going to try and get a very good lead run. Uh, as I filtered off of drift. And this is a very bad lead run. Hopefully. So even though that was a pretty bad lead run, it looks like our the other car had a pretty not so great lead run either. So now we're going to go into the chase. I was hoping to get a better run, but like I said, I had a bit of an issue. So now we are on chase. So basically we, we have to mimic his line as best as possible and we get points for when we are drifting in his line. So we're going to initiate in. Oh, I wish I stayed sideways, but see, we're losing points there because we're not actually drifting with him. So we're going to kick it, kick it back, and we're going to shred some bumpers and basically wreck ourselves into the wall. Cars in the beginning being very underpowered, you have to do a lot of e-braking. But when you get further on with more power, it makes it a lot easier. And as you can see, even though we were drifting, we we're not close enough to get points, so we are going to lose this run. So we get into a tandem situation. We're searching for another player. We have our sponsors. I believe we're on, yep, we're on our next in tires. Waiting for, there we go. Stock S15 or S14. So now we are gonna run our lead run. So we gotta run the best possible lead run we can. Get as many points as we can so that when we get into chase, we have a bit of an advantage. So hopefully we can get a good bank run here and shade in and the wall just a tap. And I do not have the power like I want to. We need to get more power in this car. So I think we're going to probably end up doing a motor swap on that S15. 
So the clipping points give you a lot more points when you clip into them, just like that. They multiply. Ah, I tried not to drift into the wall. So this car is very underpowered for this track. It's a lot better on some of the other tracks. Maybe we will hop into one of the pro cars and rent a pro car and see what we do with pro car here to give you guys just kind of like a throw in game on this. But apparently we had a lot of points though. We had 38,000 points and we had 18,000 on their lead. So now we are gonna go into chase, which we have to mimic their drift just like FD. We get points for being closer. We get points for mimicking their drifting and uh, we can hit them, but it doesn't really mess up their line because they're running their basically AI line like we just ran. So we're going to initiate in, try and stay on his door. There we go. Oh, oh, see right there. Although we did get a challenge for there and totally messed up the latter part of the course. He didn't go all the way out to that clip. I was trying to chase the clip. That I knew was there but see we are too far away to get tandem points we're not getting as many points because we're not close enough hopefully our lead run was enough to take this one that door dive in the initiation in the beginning was really awesome and I kind of want to uh, kind of want to uh, watch that again different camera angle see if we can't get this cinematic view not sure which one's a cinematic view. Apparently we smacked into him hard though. You can switch cars on the replays, which is really awesome. That's the cinematic view. So hopefully, let's see if we can get a good video of the door dive initiation on the first turn. Maybe get some slow-mo. So the replays are amazing. And there's our little door dive. We're gonna slow that down right inside his door, and that's a uh, that's a heck of a it's a heck of a screenshot right there. We kind of need to uh, rake that back some and uh, take a nice screenshot. You know, I keep trying to move my phone. That's uh take that as a screenshot save that for later so we're gonna go back and it, see it goes based on lead and chase we did win that run so this is just a little glimpse into torque drift for you guys i will be getting more episodes if you guys want to keep seeing torque drift on the channel make sure you comment down below then once again a big thank you to the game developers for allowing me to bring content to this i'm having a lot of fun with this game but before we go for this episode i think we should probably test drive one of the fd cars and uh See if we can't slay the banks of Cali Banks in uh, Mad Mike Widette's car. We can test drive it for uh, $1,500. Money well spent. Cali Banks. Mad Mike Widette's MX-5. Yep. Driver, driver tires. Driver tires. Rarity Pro. Horsepower. 1,223. Oh, boy. <laughs> This is definitely going to be a lot different than what I'm used to. and We will probably end up wrecking this car, but oh my god. Yep, so... Cars with more power. So much easier to get sideways. And, uh... So much easier to just break the tires loose. Uh, we wrecked Mike for Death's car. Hope he's not mad. That angle lock on the front of that car, though. So these cars... When you get up there in higher horsepower, are get oh, the angle on this car is insane. I'm trying not to tap the wall. Oh. Wow. So yeah, 72,000 on that run. Definitely a lot more than with my S14. So if you guys want to keep seeing Torch Truth on the channel, if you guys want to keep seeing more builds and such on the cars, let me know down in the comment section down below. Like I said, I'm just having a blast with this game and um yeah it's uh it's a lot of fun the graphics are definitely very insane as you can see Ooh, just tap so you guys can find me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram and we just wrecked the car all of which are found in the description box below like i said if you guys want to see more torque trips i will be doing more videos here throughout the week we can flip the car i've actually never noticed that 
So until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit. I will be bringing more Torque Drift here to the channel, more in-depth on the customization, the builds, tandems, and hopefully get a controller hooked up so that I can, uh, you know, get a little bit better in the drifting. But like I said, this is a lot of fun. They do limit you on controls. You can't do tilt mode, otherwise it would probably be a lot much better. So until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit. I'm out.